Hello, welcome to the diagrams video where I'll cover exactly how you can use LandSweeper to get an overview of your network topology or even your virtual environment topology if you have one using LandSweeper's new diagram feature. Obviously, with all the information that LandSweeper covers and gathers via SNMP, we're able to use the SNMP data to see exactly which devices are connected to which network devices, and that way create easy relationships that are automated through our diagrams creation process. So let's head into LandSuper and take a look how you can create your own diagrams for your own environments or even network uh, topology. In LandSuper, we have a category specifically for diagrams. If you go to the main navigation bar, you'll see there's an icon there for diagrams, where if you click on it, you'll already have a whole list of diagram templates. Uh, now, by default, we split up the diagrams in two different categories, network topology and virtual environment, and we provide you with pre-built diagrams for all of your IP locations already, as well as your installations that you have linked to your LandSweeper site. Now, to take a look at one of them, we're just going to go to the installation diagram of my test environment. We're able to see that by default, we give you basically a view of all of the devices that you have that we've been able to create automated relations for. This means that these relations were created based on the SNMP data that we have in addition to other data that we've been able to retrieve from your in installation. Now, if we click on one of the switches, you can easily see that it highlights exactly which devices are connected to this specific device that I've selected. Each device also shows additional information. If I zoom in here, you'll get to see that we just give you some basic information on the device itself, like the name and the IP address, but if you actually want to get more information on it, you can also simply click on any of these devices. They are all hyperlinked to get even more information. And we also provide some status icons at the bottom to give you information on the current status of that device and whether there might be potential errors with the scanning of that device as well. Now there are a few items that are collapsed and if we actually open those, it'll give you a better view. So there's a few virtual environments here that were collapsed by default. We can take a look at those and see exactly which virtual devices that we have, as well as if we head over to our default location. So this is if you use the blueprints feature that LandSuper has, where you're able to upload a blueprint from your office and you pin devices, you put devices on their physical location on that blueprint. Um, that's something that we also take and use to provide you a view of which devices are in which location map that you've created. Now, if we take a look at the options, by default here, we're looking at the star view. Um, if I zoom out again slightly to give you a whole view of what we have and switch to a different view, um, you can see that we're able to give you different types of views of how you want to have your devices laid out in the actual diagram page. In addition to that, there are a couple of options here that we can run through. Obviously, we have a search if you want to find a specific asset. This can either be with name, but also with IP address and, and other parts as well. So however you like to find your asset, you can use a search box here. We have filters to, if you want to reduce the number of devices that you see on the diagram, if you just want to have a overview of, for example, all of your, let's say, Apple Mac devices and just the diagrams of your Apple Mac devices or whatever other asset type you have within LandSweeper, you're able to filter on any of that along with the additional filter parameters that you can see here. Next up is our orphans assets. So what we see in a diagram is only the assets that we're able to get some relationship information on. Whether it be, as I mentioned, automatic relations that we've been able to create using the SNMP data or when monitors are connected to their Windows device, or whether it's here also manual relations that you've manually created in the system itself. Any orphaned asset is an asset that is not or does not have a relationship. Um, so you can find a full list of all the devices that we haven't been able to get a relationship for or create a relationship for. And you're also able to create relations straight from this menu. So if you want to find a device, immediately add a relation to a device that maybe is already on your diagram, then you can do that straight from this menu here. Lastly, but not least, there's an export function. So if you want to export any of this, um, if you want to use it and later on, for example, use it in Microsoft Visio or any other product, you can use the export button to export the diagram that you've created and maybe you've moved things around, you've adjusted things, added some filters, or 
if you head over to the settings, there's even some additional information here. You can choose on how much information is being displayed in your diagram, whether the assets have all the information or if it's just a name or just even less information than that. So that'll be it for diagrams. Be sure to try out the feature to get an overview of all of the relations in your environment and utilize the diagrams to take the heavy lifting off of yourself so you can get those automated generated diagrams and get a good overview of what your IT environment really looks like and which devices are connected to what. If you want to learn more about Landsuper, you can head over to the next video and see you there.